Morning folks, uh, that's a bit cooler today, I'm glad to say. It's uh, quite pleasant at the moment in my loft room studio. Uh, very warm yesterday and very close. But, uh, but with uh, millions of others, we had a barbecue, we had family round up. I put a gazebo up. Uh, it's, about, it's, quite, it's quite good. Uh, but it was to keep the sun off and not the rain. Uh, so I'm going to, I've just done this, I just want to do a, a rough meadowy type thing again. But I'm going to use a knife for it, so it might be that uh, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to just move this over just a little bit. It's just a bit too close because I'll get my knuckles in the, in the paint otherwise. Especially with uh, these uh, offcuts of MDF that I use as pilots for the moment, uh, they're very good. I, I'm quite happy doing that because when it gets too overloaded with paint, I can uh, well, I can scrape either scrape it off or throw it away, and start another couple. Uh, Right, oh, I can even use use old watercolour paper pinned on there. That's an idea, never thought of that. Right, so we've got uh, Ultramarine, uh, Vermilion, Burnt Sienna. Payne's Grey is not the colour, it is a, a neutral. So, it's, so I've put a bit of that on. I always use a lot of uh, Payne's Grey, I love it. You can use black, or oh, you don't have to use anything. Uh, Cadmium yellow pile, I won't use much. Oh, I might use some of that, yeah. Uh, getting a bit short on some of these colours. So I'll just pour some of that out. And uh, and yellow ochre. So one, two, three, four, five colours. Uh, and here we go. Uh, I'm going to use the knife. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, get some, uh, some of that on there. Just mix it all up. It's easier to do this with a brush down to the horizon, but uh, we'll do this. The paint is nice and moist so because it's um, it's quite still it's still very warm. I haven't looked at uh, what the uh, temperature is. Look at that blue there. Try to get you get a graduation from the dark to the light. Now this is so it makes your your fingers ache after a while. I was tempted then to uh, to use a brush down to this area and then put in some knife work at the end afterwards. That's probably a better thing to do. So I'll do that. Oh, I've got me, me, me supposedly inch brush. It says inch on the handle. Pro art, hog varnish. But it's got a 30 imprinted on the ferrule. So it's uh, oops, there. All right, so let's take uh, a bit of, bit of uh, oil. Oh, that end, look at that. Coming down to. Oh, that's stiff, that. that's really. Uh, a bit of linseed in there, I'll put a bit more in. Because there's this, a bit of drier in it. In, in my little pot that I'm using. I'll show you. It's, it's just a cap of, of a, a, a can of malt beer making. Uh, stuff which is very good so there it is I don't throw them away I keep them until they get so full up with uh, stuff I uh, dismiss them in the bin right and we'll come down lower with the with the white mm. 
I'm just basing this on the uh, on a, uh, a Chichester salt marsh, which I I do, I find, which I absolutely love doing. But uh, I, I I think I might have left a message that we well, certainly did on Facebook and. Uh, uh, I think that is. Um, my, I thought my laptop was playing up and it wouldn't download or upload the uh, SD cards. It would flash, and um, so I called in a friendly, uh, as I did the week before, a friendly face, a friendly computer engineer. You used to have a business, a uh, well, shop, doing computer repairs locally. But he did quite a bit of work for me over the years, and I phoned him. He came straight away, well, as and when, uh, and uh, said, "Oh no, there's nothing wrong with your laptop." Right, I'm not going to use that brush now. I'll clean that later. Um, he fiddled around with this. Said, "No, you've just you've got, you've done this, you've done that, and the other." Uh, me and laptops are, are not good bed fellows, but he fixed it. And then the next, then the following, following, well, the, the, uh, Saturday, Friday, I phoned him up again for that reason, and he came round again, having fixed. Uh, said no, you, 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 you've done this, you've done that, and the other. So I. Uh, No, uh, chat, and he and he said, "What you want is a, is a card reader." He said, "I've got some in the car." And oh, this seems to be really good. And I'm very pleased about that. I do tend to carry my clouds right the way across the sky and, and uh, don't have your clouds between two trees because it looks silly. Well, my laptop is working fine now. It's not idiot proof, I'm afraid. But he sorted it out for me and he, I, I, I got this uh, little uh, USB stick with a, which is for card reading. And it goes just goes into videos. When you download it, download what's on the memory card. It's lovely. So now I'm back in business. I'll keep him going. So I get a nice sunny, sunny sky. That's quite interesting. Just have to stop myself occasionally just to see how we're doing. Then the rest is going to be with a knife. That's almost dry there. The paper, this paper, oil paper, is marvellous. Paper. It's uh, it's got a uh, a plastic membrane on the back of each sheet, it stops the oil from soaking through, and it's also um, acid free. So, all to his credit, all right now let's mix up some paint for a meadow. Oh, for, no, not a meadow. Not doing a meadow, am I? Right, uh, let's take out some of those lines, although they're quite attractive in their own right.
Right. Let's get that horizon in. Then I can bounce into that uh, with a knife. Right. Clean the clean the brush. Uh, right, there it is. Uh, now we want some uh, knock up some blue, some yellow, some red. And we can mix a bit of burnt sienna in there. I've done this so many times, but not with a, with a knife, and, and this is going to be uh, an experiment. So let's look at some pretty red. I know there's a sort of a, some trees going along there, bushy trees. Take that down, all that shadow area. Right, I'll just leave that like that just for a moment. Right, that's a bit now because I know there's another tree here. I'm working from memory of having walked around here a few times. Um, oh, well, I need to cover that bit, so let's just uh, get that in. Okay, carry on the hand. Get a bit more white and blue, and mix all that up. Because we want we want to get some uh, I, I, do, I think with knife painting you need to keep it simple. Simple strokes. And we've got a sort of a horizon coming down to here. A bit of counter change I'll use, of course. Around here. Mm -hmm. Now we'll use bits of more white along here. Just And, and going to the distance, so a bit more white in there, I think. Baby crying. Now we're going to get that straight, the horizon straight. We can overlay some, or put on some more stuff in there. Now we need to darken. Some of this in here. A little bit of ochre in there, I think. T 
texturing. Shadow there. Right, now, we can go back to this, we can just take the, the nice light bits. I've got my headphones plugged in, my earpiece plugged in, but it's a bit close to where I'm scraping my my knife. I'm going to have to move that. I like to listen to the radio when I'm doing all this. Uh, right. a bit more of this lighter colour to give some uh, okay uh, I can't remember what I was going to say there uh, to, to get some uh, contrast between the light and the, the dark but uh, okay that's uh, so we do need to do a bit more blue bluey colour in here. Alright. Uh, I'm going to put in some uh, some mask grass. It should only be uh, oh if you ever get a chance you can get up have a look at the gallery for uh, Catherine Williams, Sir Catherine Williams, a Welsh artist, lived in uh, on Anglesey, that island at the top of, of uh, Wales. Um, great, great uh, technician. Technician, artist, always painted uh, beautiful, uh, simple, quite drab colours, but with a big impact. Uh, but he died, I think, around about 2004. But there is a, you can Google, so Caffin spelt, spelt K Y Caffin. But he always painted, well as far as I know, I don't think he did many brush uh, paintings. He, he went to art school of course. I didn't. Uh, right, now we're going to put some texture on there. To, we'll uh, let's mix a bit of blue in there. He would even paint uh, local farmers and now we'll pull some of that uh, colour down here, I think. Can go over that again when I've got the mask glass in. But I wanted to uh, show some of that water. It's an inlet. Right, clean. Right, now 
so we want a nice uh, ochre colour. Perhaps a bit of burnt, burnt sienna. Sort of you imagine this is a the marsh grass. Only what I remember about these the walks around here. It's between Chis Chidham and Chidham and uh, I'll remember in a minute. Possum. Just now that I've got to put in a bit of a bush here. I'm going to use a bit of paint grey, a bit of a shortcut, a bit of red in there. Just so. Okay, so something a bit of interest there, but it does exist, but not perhaps in, in this uh, place. Now we've got to do some lovely uh, marsh grass with a shadow. Whoops. Not for me, for my wife. I love doing doing these, as I've said many times. But uh, the old Cafe Williams has been a been a great. I haven't got any of any uh, pa paintings in books. I lent a book that never came back to a friend, uh, and he was included in one of Ron Ranson's books, um, modern modern impressionists, which he was. Right now we want some nice ochre. Put in a few dobs of colour in that, but I'm only using a very limited palette. It keeps things simple. Just 
fill that in. Uh, a bit of uh, ochre and a bit of, a bit of that. Let's uh, get some uh, bit of dark green in here. Just mixing a bit of uh, darker colour. So can I improve that? Mm -mm -mm. Well, we can put some dark, darkish stuff in there. Right now, I was going to do something on here and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know. Bit, bit blue. That's supposed to be the water. Well, I don't think I'm going to do much more than that. I'm not even going to put a bird in. It's a bit wet. Right, I'm going to put a mountain on that. I should dismantle this. So I've got this one to, to upload. Or download, I never know which is which. Um, and one I did last Friday that didn't work. And that's... Uh, so, uh, but I've still got the memory card, so with the card read, I, I, I hope it will uh, come back to life. Well, let's move, move, move the pods. Uh, that is in the middle. Okay, good amount. Blue mount. Right, there we are, another one. Uh, probably not very horizontal around there, is it? So let's just change that to a little bit of dark, I think. Uh, 
Just pull down some of that reflection. Okay, well, I'm going to let that go. I'm not too happy with it, but um, it's quite difficult working on a small piece of uh, A4 paper. Uh, but there's, I've, I've not put any detail in that whatsoever. It's all just shapes and texture, shapes and texture. Well, I've got that one uploaded for you, folks. Thank you for watching. Uh, We've got a WhatsApp group now in our in our road, and I'm waiting for a couple of uh, new new friends, new neighbour friends um, that are very interested in in learning uh, or painting. Uh, their their, uh, their art, so the one the one can be is very good. Uh, but I'm just waiting for them to to get back to me, work permitting. And children will be missing. Uh, and I'll demonstrate a painting for them. I, I don't really want to do a, 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 a kind of coaching. I just want them to learn from, by looking at what I've done. They can photograph it, they can film it, and they can take it away with them and uh, see what's what. Could put a little bit of. Uh, no, that's, that's not fiddle. See you soon. Bye bye.